Boogie 2988 has literally been overweight his entire life, trying to lose weight his entire life without any success whatsoever. He had gastric bypass in was it 2017, 2018, where he initially lost 115 pounds, getting from 500 down to 350. He gained 50 pounds sporadically throughout the year, sitting at 400, so he lost 100 pounds initially from the gastric bypass. Now involved in a bunch of scandals of scamming his audience through cryptocurrency, involved in lying about having cancer for the past two years, getting completely exposed by popular streaming named Destiny. And this guy just cannot seem to get his life together. He cannot seem to get his weight in control. Seven days from today is one of the biggest food holidays for me, which is Halloween. Now he's on some pills and he's not really eating because he's stressed about getting exposed about all these scandals and he's lost 24 pounds in the past like couple days. Get motivated, do something. You lost 24 fucking pounds and all you can think about in your fat head is how you're gonna gain the weight back. So it took all of these things to happen to him, him getting canceled, him getting scandals, him lying, him pretty much cheating his audience out of what $3 million of trading volume just for a $5,000 paycheck from the people who actually made the project. All of this stressed him to the point to where he's not eating, taking pills, losing weight now, 24 pounds. That's gonna be very short lived because people like that, for one, you can't sustain a weight loss on just whatever diet or non-eating protocol you're using and these pills he's taking giving him a bunch of, I guess, lack of appetite or whatever's going on with him. It's not that hard. It is not that hard. He uses the idea of food as self-harm. He uses the idea as he's harming himself by eating. Didn't you just say you don't enjoy chicken pizza? I'm kind of enjoying one thing about it right now and it's super fucked up. Do you want to know what the one thing I'm enjoying about it is? That it's so bad for me. He's harming himself every time he eats a burger. He's harming himself by drinking Diet Mountain Dew, which has no calories, maybe five to, for the entire can. They're not gonna put five on a can, they're gonna mark it down to zero like you usually do, but diet sodas, they tend to have three to five calories realistically total. But what is up with this? What is up with this? Coping with food, using food, self-abusing with food, and that being your way of abusing yourself for the last couple decades of your life. I know I'm fighting an addiction. I know I'm fighting against time. This guy's turning 50 years old very soon, 50, five, zero. And he is unhealthy. He refuses to try. He refuses to lose any weight. He refuses to get his life together. When did we lose people trying and making an effort to save themselves? Listen, I get it, I get difficult times. We all have difficult times. We all have issues and things going on in our life that is just hard and painful. We don't wanna go through, we don't wanna deal with. We are here, we are suffering, I get all of that. At the end of the day though, you try, you continue to try. He did a stream, multiple streams that is, quite a few streams. People are on these streams begging the guy to try. People are on the streams begging him to put more effort forward in just his life and getting it back together. Oh my God, I don't have the drug more. You've never needed the drug. You've never needed crutches. You've had the power within you to fucking succeed from the very beginning. For one in the weight loss journey, why aren't you losing weight? Why haven't you made enough effort to lose weight? You went through literally gastric bypass surgery and you lost 100 pounds sitting at 400 pounds, which 100 pounds loss is a big deal but we're sitting at 400 being he looks like he's 5'9 quite short someone that short being 400 pounds it's not going to weigh good on the heart it's not going to be good on your organs it's different if you're seven feet tall weighing 400 pounds like there's a lot more distribution of body for the weight and fat to go versus being 5'9 400 pounds this guy is hopeless and i've watched him sporadically throughout the years i've been a subscriber for a very, very long time. I used to love the idea of him when he was Francis and just every little wacky thing he did and when he was buying the one-up machines. Like, I was a fan back then. Seeing his downfall, seeing what he's become now, all on the back of just not wanting to take responsibility for himself, not wanting to lose weight, not wanting to hustle, not wanting to grind, not wanting to do anything at all, yet he is one of the most popular people on the internet right now due to his own issues and problems, scandals and lying and stealing money and all the things he's doing right now. Absolutely getting exposed for. Bro, he's not gonna watch the video. <laughs> no way he watches this video. But at the end of the day, bro, what are we doing? Self-harming with food is not the way. Now, people like that look at me and say, well, you harm yourself in the gym because you know, you're working out, you're training really hard, you're breaking down the muscle tissue, like it's a damaging element that you do to the body. Listen, 
This is therapy. This is what people need. This is what people desire. Going to the gym is not about a physical look. Going to the gym is very mental. Unlike people like Boogie who eat food for the mental aspect of the pleasure that it gives them for the five to 10 minutes of eating food, I get that same serotonin benefit 24 seven because I train. It is not the approach of destruction. It is the approach of rebuilding. It is the approach of peace. It is the approach of making sure that I am mentally capable 24 seven to handle life no matter what. You should never use short term pleasures over longer term gain. Food is a short term pleasure. Stuffing your face with burgers and ice cream and all the stuff, junk, sodas, whatever you eat, whatever you can eat, it doesn't matter. All of these things are short. They last five to 10 minutes. You can have a longer time in bed than you can eating food and that's gonna be way more pleasurable. You can do that every single day. Why would you go to food specifically to stuff down your throat in order to get some satisfaction that's only gonna last a couple minutes literally versus you have an option to train, work really hard, get in the gym, feel good about yourself. That is a 24 seven feeling because you are living in that skin and the feeling of living in that skin, knowing what you've done, knowing how hard you push, knowing what you've achieved, that is going to be a longer term benefit in terms of you feeling good about yourself versus the five minutes of pleasure eating food. Doesn't make any sense, never made any sense. And at the end of the day, I don't think there's any hope for Boogie. He is tried, I don't think he's ever really tried, but he said he's tried sporadically over the years to lose weight. He's tried really hard to get his life together. He's tried really hard. My boy doesn't try. This guy admit live on stream, he's been sitting for four hours playing video games, doing nothing at all. He's not even streaming the game. If you were streaming the game, I would understand. You were literally sitting down there doing nothing, playing the video game, and it's going nowhere. It's doing nothing. There's no benefit of nothing to that in terms of improving your life, improving your health. You're just wasting time and mentally draining yourself, doing something that doesn't ultimately matter. A video game is great. I love video games, but it is a moment of luxury. It is a moment of peace, it's a moment to remove yourself from your environment and your stress and you can just put into something else. But when you have nothing but stress and issues and problems in your life, the first solution is to tackle those on a day-to-day -day basis. The first thing you should do is focus on what you need to focus on and how can I help myself and how can I get over these issues and that is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You don't ignore them, you don't ever act like they don't exist, you don't use food to cope. That is a short-term pleasure that's gonna bring you far more issues than it's worth, you control yourself. You be intentional. You help yourself, you save yourself, you try, you continue, you don't give up, and Boogie just doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. He's never had it. And it's crazy, right, because this guy, this guy sat in front of a computer for the last couple of years and he was able to become a millionaire by speaking and doing stupidness like drinking sodas online and talking about games and just randomly destroying Xboxes. Like this guy actually was able to do what a lot of people cannot do and that is to sit down and make sitting down a job. That is nuts. That is insane, that is impressive, that is incredible, wow. So he has something in him that is special, but he refuses to apply that specialty to other aspects of his life that he very much needs to apply them to that's going to save him and progress him. And I think hope is lost, completely lost. That last live stream, him going completely manic and losing everything, it's like, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing, bro? What is wrong with that picture? Dead, dead, nothing, just dead. So. I don't think there's any hope for Boogie, unfortunately. I've been a subscriber for, I don't even know, seven, eight years, a very, very long time that I've been following this guy on and off. Um, to see the downfall is insane, but at the end of the day, he did to himself. You don't get out of anything by lying, by scamming your audience, by, there's other allegations that I don't wanna mention because that is going too deep into a hole that I don't wanna talk about. So many things that you've brought on yourself just from your conduct and stuff you've done in life through the years. It's not worth it, but here you are. So, guys, learn a lesson. Take control of your body, take control of your health, take control of your mind, get done what you need to get done, and take your life seriously. Otherwise, you will fall and you'll stay falling and you'll never get up and you'll just be exactly where you are right now, which is nowhere, and we don't wanna do that. So, quick video, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.